Well, hello, RJ. It's Sunday. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't made any videos in a while, so I thought I'd shoot one. Uh, came in yesterday and worked. I'm going to title this video, Bigger Part in a Big Lake. <clears throat> I consider the 20-inch a pretty big lake, so I got a bigger part. As you can see, I've got it chucked on the ID. It's a 15-inch chuck with a 17-inch bore and a 20-inch diameter part. So yesterday, all the video that I shot, uh, what I decided to do was use the uh, taper attachment in the back to do the rough work. Um, the angle basically that I need is 15 degrees, but the taper can cut 12. So what I did was, I'll show you, I'm going to walk around here. You'll see it in the very bottom corner. Down here, there's a slide, <clears throat> and you move that slide over. In this case, I moved it that way to uh, 10 degrees, bolted it down, and there's the shoe. You have to tighten the shoe, which engages this slide, and uh, it allows you to power feed on an angle cut rather than compound cross sliding the whole thing out. So what I did yesterday was I I blued it up to my depth and then roughed it out the 10 degrees that I could get in there until I hit my back depth. And then the 15 is just gonna come off the front of it. And um, had some real good footage and then Google <laughs> reminded me that I was at my limit and so um, I guess I deleted it. But uh, try to salvage something out of this and uh, get something on. It's been a while since I've posted. I miss you, son. You're over at, uh, at mom's uh, for the week and you only been gone a day and it's like, ah, what do I do? I'll shoot a little video you can watch on big, the big lane. Um, not else much going on. We got, I got the CNC moved in, hooked up and working. Uh, just little stuff like this coming through. Um, why would I do this? <laughs> Money. That's why I would do this. Uh, I have some other chuck jaws that um, are inside only. I could actually do 22 and a half. And, you know, yes, I missed the VTL. I'm actively looking for another maybe 36 inch. Uh, I would trade this big long machine for a VTL for what I do. The flanges and the short pieces, this, this is not the ideal machine to do this on, but hey, gotta make money. So I'm gonna try to get some, uh, maybe some hyperlapse footage of me taking a few little cuts here. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribing. I've got this over here that I'm waiting to do. Wait for a good job to, sh to start out with this one. There's a story behind this lathe and we did a paint job on it, it's really nice. You see my apron's all dirty. Uh, that's getting a paint job too. Oh, I go over that in the next video. So I'll just, uh, I'll close this out with a couple hyperlapse shops. If I could get them, I miss you boy. Sure had fun over spring break. Uh, this is Hefe Free Holy, and I am gonna go to work, super speed, and then probably pop to the video, the ending video of the lost footage but this is a big old part 300 and some odd pounds i don't know i used a crane to get it in here uh gonna take a few cuts sharpen my tool fought a little bit of chatter but got that alleviated by going to that brace tip right there 
Uh, it just doesn't like the insert tool, can't go fast enough without it starts singing a song. So this is going to be it for this little section. I'm going to uh, see you on the back side. Appreciate it. Okay, here we are for the final setup. I've I've twisted the um, compound cross line to the required degrees, and I've went ahead and uh, opened that four to one taper out. Um, not a big deal. Just took some little cuts. I ended up taking uh, thirty thousandths of pass. Um, it's rough as a cob. That's kind of like how they like it. That it gets a um, a weld overlay put on it. So um, I was running at who I was at 33 RPM, and I was feeding at. Fourteen thousandths per revolution on the uh, taper attachment, and I went ahead and turned that back to zero. I like to leave it at zero. I've unloosened that. I hope that helps you out with your lathe. Uh, and it's just for reference, it's the same on the south bend. I have a there's a bracket that goes on just right here. It's greasy. This bolt's on here, and it's the same. You tighten that down, set your degrees, clamp this, and it moves along with the taper. That's going to be about it for me today. I'm tired. I've probably got one more little finish pass to go on this. And um, I'm going to say thanks for liking, following, subscribing. 200 and, you know, 565 people watch this. Um, I'm waiting for a, just the right job to uh, do on the uh, Mori over there. Um, something will come along. It'll be good. And... Um, it got new belts, it got all scraped down. You saw that, I think, in a couple of my shorts. But uh, this is gonna conclude this video. I've gotta get home. I'm tired, it's been a long day. Um, that's gonna get Caterpillar yellow. Uh, we might just do a little time lapse on that, but this ought to be good for this video. I'll try to cram all these together and get something watchable out of it um thanks a lot see you next time